So on the last Warframe dev stream, we were told about possible ideas for revamping or changing up the Kuva Lich system in game for the better, less grind, better weapon acquisition and some other bits and pieces. But now we have a dev workshop post detailing exactly what to expect as early as next week. Also, we will hopefully be getting more information on all of this in this week's dev stream. So no fecking about, let's get right into the details. Kuva Larvalings will now display the weapons that the fully grown Lich will have for you once you convert it as you see in this image this allows you to finish the larveling and go after that weapon or ignore him and skip it and hope for a better weapon next time around so basically kill it for the weapon or just down it and ignore it see that cracking and nope the feck out of there but downing a kuva larveling will get you 100 kuva at the end of a mission kuva liches will no longer kill you when you fail with a requiem if it's not in the right order instead it will just laugh at you and disappear basically Nelson from The Simpsons, you know, haha, <laughs> and gone. It didn't make much sense to a lot of you that the Lich would kill us. Other similar nemesis systems in different games would have you killing the nemesis and then it would return stronger. So they're changing that. Kuva weapon valence transfer is changing now as well. It is getting a progression of sorts added to it, scaling up the weapon's damage in the long run. Kuva Lich Valence basically allowed us to replace a version of a Kuva weapon with a brand new upgraded version if it had better stats or a better element and you would be able to replace it for that one. But when this update drops, you will be able to combine Kuva weapons to not only replace that element that you don't want, but also bump up the base damage of that element as well, as shown here. So you can combine two variants to bump up the damage to 44% and then you could combine another one with that 44% one to bump it up to 48% and so on. Now to mention that the perfect Kuva weapon would be a 60% damage value, so I'm not sure, but maybe 60% will be the maximum that you can bump that weapon up to. Basically it will be the ceiling of damage. Now chances of getting a Lich Ephemera apparently will also be doubled. Converting Liches or converted Liches will now deal more damage stay longer and actually use abilities basically they're just going to be actually useful because right now they kind of suck they show up when everything is already dead they run around shooting nerf bullets and then they say some kind of cheesy one line or like my work here is done before fecking off absolute gobshites now two more kuva weapons are going to be added into the pool of kuva lich weapons as well no idea what those are maybe the gorgon maybe the baguette gun the hind maybe the stug or hopefully hopefully the Strun or the Sobek. That's what I want, right? More shotties, more Kuva Lich shotties. So don't let me down, DE, right? Now, banishing your Kuva Lich is something that they spoke about on a previous dev stream. That's not making it into this part of the Lich rework. Since duplicates will now scale up your weapon's damage, it makes sense to trial this before adding in the option to banish a Kuva Lich. Plus, you can always just not finish the larveling. Ignore it. Try to ignore the pull of the Kraken. I know it's hard, it's hard. Just don't finish off that larveling. That's pretty much the change that you can expect next week for the Kuva Lich system. Liches joining Railjack missions aren't being added yet. Same goes for the Corpus or Infested Lich variants. Later dates for those, hopefully as well. So make sure and stay tuned for the dev stream this Friday because they will be speaking more in detail about the Kuva Lich system. Also, Nova Deluxe apparently is going to be shown off, ready to be added or released into the game. Maybe we'll see her next week as well. This is what she should look like from a previous dev stream, the artwork for her. And this is a picture of her arse in game, weirdos. Do me a huge favour, hit that like button if you enjoy the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.